Greetings, welcome back to uh, the channel, and uh, <clears throat> I want to thank all my subscribers for tuning in, st sticking around, uh, liking, sharing, subscribing, commenting, and uh, welcome to all the new subscribers. Uh, we have 312 at the moment, and I want to thank each and every one of you. God bless you all. And I love every one of you. Uh, today we're taking a last look at the uh, Psychedelic 60s uh, group build. Kind of the uh, assembly part. <clears throat> Which is what we are doing. <laughs> uh, this is a 66 and a half uh, monogram Mustang. This went through a couple of revisions. This wasn't the pink color to start with, and I changed it. Um, didn't like... I liked the color, but I didn't like it on this car. Makes sense, right? So, I want to thank Dan over at 60 Rules for hosting this, by the way. Uh, this is my first year, and I plan on joining next year, because... I missed the last year by a month. Or something like that. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> got a lot done. We still have to put the windshield in. It's a nice clear windshield. Looks like a magnifying glass. <laughs> uh, still have some bits of chrome to put on. Uh, we got the mirror and the uh, ventricles on the sides. And a couple other little pieces in there. Bits and bobs. Uh, still got the radio to put in. We got the uh, tunnel cover, boot cover, whatever you want to call it. That's all done and ready. Final color. <clears throat> Mod Podge get out of the road. Uh, we got, of course, we got the hood all painted up and polished. And I mean polished. <laughs> you can see. I've done, I've done this one just a little different just because I wanted to. Uh, and I used, used this. <laughs> Mr. Harbor Freight Drill Master. Uh, it's, it's corded. It's 12 volt, but I got it running through my bench power supply at, uh, 5 volts. So it turns nice and slow. And that's all I've, that's all I've done with this car, just to polish it. Is, uh. It's as smooth as a baby's butt. Uh, I did use my 5,000 little squishy pads. You get one sheet for 12 bucks. <laughs> then we have the uh, cover. When we got the glass in for the uh, convertible top. And then, uh, like I said, that's pretty... Pretty shiny for me. I mean, I can see stuff in the light. <laughs> uh, of course, you know, we got, got the Mustang emblem on there. And uh, we got the taillights in and the gas cap on last night. We have uh, the headlights and the grill in. Uh, headlights are painted flat white, and then I put the lenses over, much polish them in. Uh, if I had to do that over again, I'd make them just a little darker. But anyway, and we got the, uh, washer bag in there. I think that's what that is. And the battery's painted, painted it green, just cause. A little different colors, that's nasty. And that's gold. And that's green. Little psychedelic colors. Uh, I thought this looked more like a psychedelic color. Uh, that's uh, Cretex Pearl Plum. Oh, I mean, sorry. Magenta. Duh. <laughs> Pearl Magenta. That's what that color is. 
It's, uh, I like the Cretex paints. It's, it's nice and hard. Now this has got four, five coats of uh, Walmart's Quick Shine on top of it. Um, so we're done with done with Mr. Body. We're gonna send him over here out of the way. Now these are the uh, turn signal lenses for the front and the exhaust ports for the back. I believe that's what those are. I gotta get those painted up today. Uh, there's a the front end support. What's this? That's the mirror. That needs to go in there for a moment. <laughs> Before I lose that, I didn't even realize it was laying there. And here's the door handles. And they're all re-chromed and painted. Uh, I like that AK chrome, super chrome. Uh, it's not real shiny, but then when I put some quick shine on them, it gives them that nice black chrome look that I like. Uh, some other things that we're going to get done today is bumper and the other bumper and then of course we got the, the struts for the front and those are black with uh, a little bit of gold uh, wash on them just because different colors you know, psychedelic. Whoa, man. <clears throat> the uh, interior is all together. As you can see. We can take that out of there now. <laughs> Show hog. Uh, as you can see, the steering wheel is white and chrome. Uh, can you see the dash in there? Got the decal in there and... I got the tachometers and stuff down at the bottom there. There you can see them. Everything is uh, got Mod Podge over them, and I used uh, put you there so don't you lose you. As always, I'm a professional. Uh, I used the uh, This pencil to highlight the uh, gauges that on the sides that didn't have decals because uh, I'll use it for a pointer. This one, the center, and the, this one had uh, decals. And then the, the small one down here did not, so I used this pen and went and whirled around and... Uh, Where you see the gauges, and uh, I don't know if you can see in there the little pony over there on the glove box is chromed, and then we got the floor shifter that's chromed and white wall on it. The uh, interior has don't remember what paint I used. Oh, that's just plain purple. Uh, hang on a second. I'll tell you which purple. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't remember. <laughs> uh... Which purple did I use? Oh, well. If I remember it, I'll put it right here. <laughs> and uh, got the seats in there. and It's all been uh, panel lined with this. And it gives it kind of a, a dark leathery look. I like. Another one of Grandpa... Hobbies, Mark, Grandpa Mark's hobbies, little tricks. Thank you, Mark. Okay, so that, that's done a good him out of the way over there. Um, 
Then we got a rolling chassis. I don't know if I've showed all this before. Gold valve covers, uh, bronze intake and and uh, block. Go, uh, as you can see that the looks gold, doesn't it? That's bronze. I'm sorry, the transmission's copper. And then so is the intake and then the uh, blocks bronze. Just kind of going in with a little bit of side, psychedelic colors, you know. Make some different colors, make it look kind of cool. Just different. Uh, I don't build to correct specs anyway. I build what I like. I, I do not follow <laughs> a lot of things. Anyhow, for now, the wheels roll. <laughs> uh, although, this, this side not quite as well. Then we got uh, flat aluminum and uh, gunmetal and on the... Uh, Chassis here, uh, it's got a little bit of silver weathering. Uh, actually, it's gunmetal weathering from those little Tamiya things. And I don't remember which one I used, but you know, these little things. Uh, I think it was B, maybe. And I guess still got a hollow out exhaust ports just a little more and then highlight those and uh, there you guys have it like I said the next time you're going to see this she will be a finished um, cruiser yep most definitely so thank you for watching and following along Today we're trying something new. <laughs> we're trying to pin this mirror using brass rod. I uh, got this at Hobby. No, got this off of Amazon. I'm gonna check Hobby Lobby next time. See if I got a smaller one. Because this one's just actually a little too big. I'm just on the verge of blowing out the uh, sides of that, the sides of that uh, mirror. Actually, I did just a little bit on the back side here, but I think the super glue will hold it in there. Of course, I'm using my. Uh, My drill bits. I have lots of drill bits. <laughs> Just happens these are those. Um, I've got this sanded down. I'm going to try and take and cut a little bitty tiny piece about that big off of this. <laughs> yeah. And keeping it's going to be the problem. <laughs> So, anyway, this is where we're at right now, and you don't see this other stuff. Actually, these are all group builds I'm finishing up. This is the small scale. You can't see the rest of it. And this is the Corvette for uh, <laughs> Grandpa Mark's group build. There are <clears throat> I'm going to be making videos later on today on those anyway, so I guess sneak peek ain't hurting anything. So I'll bring you back when I get accomplish this. Next time we'll drill a hole right there. All right, bring you back. Don't know what part this is, but thank you. <laughs> Each and every one of you out there. Uh, God bless every one of you all. 
God bless the men and women that serve in our armed services that keep us safe. Uh, I think we all need to thank them a little more often when we do. If it wasn't for them, we would not be sitting here doing this. <laughs> so, thank you for your service. And be kind to your neighbors. You don't know when you're going to see them again. Take care. God bless. <laughs> see you in the final. Bye.